Henry Ford masked the assembly line process to help deliver cars cheaper, faster, and better to the mass market. GitLab is doing that for software as a service. Let's get into it. Each episode, I'm helping investors understand how I look for investors that could turn a small amount of money, like $1,000, into a huge pile of cash, like $100,000 in 10 years or less. There's a bunch of them out there, and this channel is about teaching you how to spot them. Think of software development like a building a giant Lego castle with a whole team. You need a place to store the pieces, which is the code. You need to keep track of who's doing what. I need to make sure everything fits smoothly together. That's where GitLab comes in. Now, there are other tools out there, kind of like different Lego instruction manuals, but GitLab is special because it's an all-in-one toolbox. It not only helps you store and manage your code, but it also has built-in tools for planning, collaborating, testing, and even deploying your, your finished software product to the world. This saves time, reduces confusion, and helps you build that awesome Lego castle or software project faster and more efficiently. So how does GitLab make money? It's a bit like a freemium video game, right? So they got the free version, which is basic version of software for free. Uh, let's people try it out and see if they like it. Then the paid upgrades. If you want to get all the cool features and power ups, you got to pay for the subscription. It's like unlocking the full game with all levels and characters. Those subscriptions plans uh, work for different needs. So for example, um, in the video game world, you can do basic deluxe or super deluxe edition of a video game. Same with these paid upgrades. GitLab also makes money by selling special tailored versions of their software to big companies. These versions have extra features and support, sort of like a VIP pass for a video game. GitLab is at the forefront of the future of work, where technology is empowering teams to collaborate and create amazing things faster than ever before. GitLab's asking price, as of this recording, is about $9 billion. For it to be attractive for me as an investment, it needs to be able to grow to about $900 billion in the next decade. And so the work that I'm going to do is deciding if that's possible for this level of software. My initial gut reaction for this is not super bullish uh, because while I think that it has a lot of potential upside going up a hundred times from where it is right now, I'm not totally convinced I'm gonna do the work, but this category of investment, not super uh, bullish on, but we'll see, I keep an open mind. Want the inside scoop on how I find investments that can go up 100 times from where it is right now and how I do my research, join my Inner Circle newsletter. It's packed with my step-by-step -step research examples, plus you pay what you want. No tricks. I just provide valuable information that helps you feel confident about your money. The link is in the description below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you can get more insights on the videos we put out in the future. Thanks for hanging out and be fruitful and go multiply your money. Philip Washington Jr. is a registered investment advisor. Information presented is for educational purposes only and does not intend to make an offer or solicitation for the sale or purchase of any specific securities, investments, or investment strategies. Investments involve risk and unless otherwise stated are not guaranteed. Be sure to first consult with a qualified financial advisor and or tax professional before implementing any strategy discussed herein. Past performance is not indicative of future performance.